Yeah, it's Mark the Ballot. I'm getting ready for my big trip. Thanks to regular voter roll updates, ballots like me visit only eligible voters. Election officials know when voters have moved, changed names, or become otherwise ineligible. Check your voter information anytime at votewa.gov. I'll see you soon in your mailbox. You love the internet. But do you love your internet? Do frozen screens make your heart melt? Do buffering wheels give you butterflies? <laughs> Didn't think so. You should meet Zipply Fiber. It's faster, it's friendlier, it's fiber. Zipply is fiber optic internet. That means no lag and no buffering. Gotta love it. Zipply Fiber. Call 1 888 GoZipply or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash GoZipply. Plans as low as 10 bucks a month. Am I relaxing? In an airport. Okay, Alaska Airlines. This lounge is nice. Like handcrafted espresso bevies, hot food free, Wi Fi nice. And these comfy chairs? This puts my condo to shame. It'd be crazy if I just missed my flight and broke my lease and made this my home forever. I wonder if anyone would notice. With Chevy trucks, be ready for adventure. With power you can count on. Capability that doesn't compromise. A hardworking EV with more range than any competitor. And the potential to take you anywhere. Well-qualified Northwest buyers get 0% financing plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. See your Northwest Chevy dealer. Yeah, like I love seeing kids nowadays loving their dad. Like, dad, what's going on? Let's go play, dad. Let's go ride bikes, dad. When I was a kid, I was like, dad, dad, mom, what did you see in that? It's fight night, live boxing at Emerald Queen Casino Event Center. Saturday, October 19th. Make it a destination event. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. At Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. All rights to the... Network and welcome back inside Climate Pledge Arena. We saw some physicality, some fight, some bite out of the Kraken on Tuesday night against the Vancouver Canucks. And even though they've playing the same opponent tonight, this morning head coach Dan Bilesma said it's not about the matchup as it relates to tenacity. It's about setting a standard of tenacity, a standard of compete on a night to night basis. He said that doesn't mean that we need unnecessary extra curricular activities, but finding the balance to send a message that we will not be pushed around needs to be an ongoing effort. He will test that standard tonight, seeking their first win of preseason. Rick Tockett, his club is 2-0 in the preseason. Joey Decord is scheduled to play all three periods in goal tonight for the Kraken, as you see him getting himself ready for this one. Kevin Lankinen, first year with Vancouver, spent the last two as the backup to UC Soros in Nashville. Preseason game number three is underway. Sit back and enjoy this one. And Chandler Stevenson is offside, making his Kraken preseason debut. Stevenson will start with Jaden Schwartz and Oliver Bjorkstrand, Edso, a line that's been together throughout camp. Yeah, there's some uh, familiarity there with the relationship with uh, Chandler Stevenson and uh, Jaden Schwartz. And for Oliver Bjorkstrand, Getting an opportunity here and seeing what the chemistry is like, but we've seen it so far in camp JT where there's been some movement around and you know guys have been 
kind of dinged up a little bit and missing practice or not being able to play in a game and get to play with everybody because at some point you're going to cross paths with one of your teammates at some point, whether it's on the back end or forwards. Hey, you need it. No better the time than right now. While everybody's getting ready to gearing up for that first official game. You get a few extra reps with maybe a new line. And you see the forward lines defense pairings at the top of your screen and that first game will be here on a Tuesday afternoon 1 30 Pacific start against the St. Louis Blues on October 8th Vancouver defeated Seattle 3 to 1 Tuesday night in BC the court plays it to the wall manned by Oliver Bjorkstrand he'll whip it through center nice pass Jaden Schwartz gains entry he'll dust it off a lead feed for Alexiak who shoved right off it by Kiefer Sherwood. Played last year in Nashville. Scored 10 goals, signed as a free agent, through center, on cue. Here comes Sherwood. He'll throw on the brakes. Nice job there by Wright defensively. Excellent defensive stick there by Shane Wright. Now along the boards. Sherwood will get to it. A native of Columbus, Ohio, Jake DeBrusque. Seven year deal, ex of Boston, free agent signee. Shane Wright out to center. Here come the Kraken. Good poke check at the line by Kudretsev. Karel Kudretsev and now Sherwood will send it all the way around. A mixture of veteran players, young players still at this stage of camp. Game three for the Kraken. Game four tomorrow night in Edmonton. Riker Evans to the corner. Off a stick. Here's Jordan Everly. Off another stick off the veteran. Derek Forbert. Linus Carlson spins off a hit. Forbert in control. DeBrusque will play it off the boards. Those two played in Boston a season ago and now Evans will slow it down. Then Myers had the Kraken only goal in Vancouver. He's got the puck through center ice, stripped clean. The Canucks transition back. Carlson will go deep. And Josh Mahura back on it. He'll move it. Yanni Newman, young rookie, will tap from Myers out through center of steel. Max Sasson, he'll feed it in on the court. He'll melt it down. We get a stoppage. Two minutes gone in this first period. Mitchell Stevens signed as a free agent. Likely to play with Coachella Valley, but a good player to have in your organization. Played last year in Montreal, 67 in deep sea blue out there for the Kraken. Mahura angles out through center for Ryan Winterton. It comes all the way back. Good pressure, Leighton Road, who we talked about in the open. Young man from the Beachy State and uh, has plenty of speed and has looked good in training camp. 85 for the Kraken on this line. Stevens now in control and he'll dump it in. Philip Horonic will get to it. He'll sidestep the four checking of Ryan Winterton. Klimovich will clear it all the way through center and all the way back for icing against Vancouver. Chandler Stevenson, Jaden Schwartz, and Oliver Bjorkstrand will get out there for Seattle. Nathan Smith on the draw for Vancouver, number 83, off the faceoff. Alexiak, Brandon Montour. Three for three. Chandler Stevenson in a faceoff dot. Encumbering feed there for Schwartz. Sammy Blay on a PTO, a pro tryout, will clear it through center. He played Tuesday night in Vancouver. Looking to earn a spot for them. Stevenson, Montour, shot, turned out by Lankinen. He spits out a rebound. Pew Suter in control. He had the empty net goal Tuesday night. Denton Heinen shies away from Jamie Oleksiak. It's played through center. Montour wins the battle, turns it over, and through the logo, Brandon gets it back. A reset for Seattle. Brandon Montour. One of two unrestricted free agents signed this past summer by Ron Francis, along with Chandler Stevenson. Ronnie Francis will join us for the second period tonight here in the booth. We look forward to that. Now, Elias Pedersen, who is dressed, did not play Tuesday night. Their star center will kick it out to center. And Riker Evans clears it right back in where it's contained by Lincoln. Yeah, looking forward to. Uh... Having my former roommate, or I guess I was his roommate because he, you know, he we'll was the elder, that. he was the elder skatesman at the that time. Might so. be the first question. <laughs> well, look at watch this play here by Chandler Stevenson. You talk about puck protection. Watch what he does. This is a 
This is just a, a great job of knowing that there's pressure coming, turn the body, protect the puck, use the boards, bank it over to Brandon Montour. That's a good chance. And you'd like to see somebody get to the front of the net there, but that's just a heads up play by a veteran player. Good get by Everly. Larson's shot tipped out of play by Jake DeBrusque, and we'll get a stoppage. He's going to be able to make plays, JT. Chandler Stevenson. Well, especially when that play's going to Montour as well. That's a guy that wants to shoot first. So, as a forward, you start to know when who's on the ice yeah. and what that defenseman wants to do. Obviously, everybody's getting used to a player like Montour as well, but that puck's going to get directed towards net, so someone does have to get to the front. Yeah, great point of just recognition of the tendencies of your teammate and just know, hey, look at, he's not going to try to pass it into the back of the net. Jordan Eberle will kick it to his stick. He'll cut across. Larson with a shot. They score! And the side of the goal! Seven left to go in period one. The Kraken off and running. Well, excellent entry into the zone. Shane Wright makes the play. He drives wide, opens up the space to allow Eberly. Right there, you see him. He goes to the net, opens up the spacing, hits Lars. Tolvin and Goltz to the net, JT, we were talking like, and the puck ends up in the net. It's not always have to be your body's able to get a stick on that puck, and not much goalie can do from there, but a great entry and a couple of good passes, and it ends up in the back of the net. So a feel-good moment for the Kraken in the early stages here at home, which is good. They were scored on early Sunday night in a 6-1 loss to Calgary. So they start on the right foot here. The goal scored by Ellie Tolvanen. Who had 16 goals last year. Signed a new contract extension in the offseason. And is an important player in all facets now. Brandon Byro, number 11 for the Kraken, broke it up. Max Sasson through center, a lead pass. Archdeep Baines out of the corner. He'll try and play it. He's tied up by Brandon Montour. They jam along the boards with just about five minutes gone in the first period. On a goal by Ellie Tolvanen, the Kraken, with a 1-0 lead through center. Nate Smith will dump it deeper in Kraken ice. Oleksiak is back. He'll clear it around. He drakes off with a shot blocked in front. Carried out to center ice by Ben Myers. Kudrytsev gets there, but now Leighton Road will cross and cut across for a shot. Turned out by Lankin in the rebound. Blocked. Ryan Winterton as Lankinen responded after spitting out the rebound and came up big on Ryan Winterton. Well, a nice play here by Leighton Road. I thought he had a chance, JT, to move the puck to Jamie Alexiak, but I think he saw the back checker. Skate left, shoot right, big rebound, and there's Winterton not able to elevate the puck. Excellent opportunity for this line. A good job just following up the play, getting the defense active. But then also Winterton getting a good opportunity can read the play from behind, just perfect timing, able to get there before the defenders can clear that puck away. Off the faceoff, Forbert now along the boards. Puce Suter back out, retrieved by the Kraken Stevens. Mitchell lays it back for Adam Larson, the big cat through center, Leighton Road tied up a bit. Vancouver now resets it. 14-24 left to go in the opening period. John Edzo, JT, Ian Furness is with us tonight along with Allison Lucan. He got us in a schedule, huh? He did. He, he <laughs> was able to wedge it in. Now Road with a shot. Blocker down by Lankin and right to the corner. Leighton Road now played in two games in the Calder Cup final a season ago great after experience. his college season. Yeah, great experience. Dan Heinen threats one in on Decord. He'll freeze, and that'll do it. 13.57 left to go in the opening period. Ellie Tolvanen is heard from early, and the Kraken starts on the right foot.
first game, right? You mentioned he made a really good play defensively. He makes a really good play offensively on the goal by the Kraken. Here's the puck carrier, Jordan Everly. But watch the play that Wright makes. He sets a pick and allows Everly to get inside. Watch the play. Wright picks, opens up the space, Ebbs moves it over to Lars, and then a redirect there by Ellie. Excellent play all the way around. No point. For Shane, right? But if he doesn't drive the net, that play does not happen. The goal comes at 4.02. Tolvin in his first of preseason from Larson and Everly. That play is offside. 13.50 left to go in the opening period. Just want to say I missed both of you since Tuesday. Get that out early. Great to be back with both of you. And we had a wonderful ride to Climate Pledge Arena this evening, JT. <laughs> As I picked up our man. Now Stevenson off the paddle on a deflection right off Kevin Lankinen. Ederson will get it out. And I appreciate that. It's the best Uber drive rider I've had, a driver in a long time. And I, I negotiated or navigated, I should <laughs> say, a quadruple lane change <laughs> on five. Which I really appreciate now Stevenson out in front broke it up. DeBrus gets it from Pedersen out through center. Broken up by the back checking of Jaden Schwartz. Jamie Oleksiak will dump it in. He'll change. And so you can convince him to take the expressway. No, that was the best way to go where we were coming from. Yeah, it we, we worked out good. Yeah, it was excellent. We did a great job. He's going to lend me the money for the toll. Now it goes <laughs> off the stick of Decord. Oh, good hit. Good hit, LaJoy. Was that Maher? I'm sorry. That was Josh Maher with the good hit. Yes, and Linus Carlson was taken down on the play. Everly with his head on a swivel takes it back. Drake Sev is on him. Max Sasson at the hash mark will carry in. Look around. He played on Tuesday night in Vancouver. He's double teamed. The Canucks attempt to get to it. Sasson moves it in. Baines is shouldered by Mahura. Another good hit there. Shane Wright turns it over. A pinch by Tyler Myers. It's been all the way around. Best shift of the game for Vancouver. Now through center. Everly checked on the play by Derek Forbert. Ellie Tolvin and Loda High. Adam Larson spins it. Stopped by Lincoln in. Loose out in front. Linus Carlson will get to it. Good job there by Lars to get it to the net and love Shane Wright standing in front of the net looking for any kind of rebound or redirection. Excellent start to this game for 51 blue. Then Myers is held on the play by Nathan Smith. Grady Hamilton one of our referees tonight makes the call Seattle to the power play. Vancouver number 83 is a minor penalty for holding. Well, Smith's going to go for the hold. Myers, who performed well the other night. Right in front of the official and power play chance and some contact by Josh Mahura here, JT. See him get rid of the puck. Perfect timing and you know, he can bring that from the back end. A little physicality. Even though it's preseason, you still want to make the other team pay a price every time. They want to advance that puck into your zone, closer to the goal, and everybody takes note of that. Munkle Shoot Casino Resort power play. The Kraken worked on the power play yesterday a great deal. Stevenson wins it back. Montour in control to the goal line, right off a of body. He gets it back off Lankinen. Little hack and whack time out in front. Montour. Fanned on one timer by Tolvanen. Forbert gets to it. Danton Heinen. Good play by Schwartz to trap it for a moment. And it's swept out by Pew Suter. Another faceoff win for Stevenson. Perfect in this first period. Heads up play there from Stevenson to right. Creates a chance right off the bat. Chandler Stevenson will get after it. And he gets all over Derek Forbert. Loose at the side of the goal. Right. Tolvanen now Montour. Ellie Tolvanen with a shot. It's tipped wide off the stick of Philip Hironik. Montour at the point. Holding on to it now. Tolvanen to the goal line. Right in front. Fan down by Schwartz. Tolvanen. Brandon Montour. Ellie Tolvanen. Right. Off sticks. Off Lankinen with Schwartz knocking on the door. A reset for the Kraken. Good looking power play. Stevenson. 
He'll survey. Montour, heavy one timer turned out by Lankinen. Montour at the point, nice keep. Off a stick, it goes high in play. Hronik will get to it. Philip Hronik back out to center. You're not kidding, Johnny. That was a heck of a play by Monty back at the blue line. I mean, that was. That thing exploded and he was able to keep it alive and you said it excellent power play. I think it all started because of another face off win by Stevenson and created a couple of good looks. Amberly pushes everybody back. Good speed by Ben Myers. Amberly out of the corner to the point. It's Bjorkstrand and now Riker Evans. Evans guarded by DeBrusque. Bjorkstrand right in. He'll circle away from coverage. Lay it back for Evans and get it back. The Maestro and now Evans holding on to it. Flushed out a bit by DeBrusque. Bjorkstrand off a body. Locked in front and jumped out. Good play by the young defenseman on that occasion to get it out. And that was Kudrace. Thought Ollie had a chance to shoot the puck on that initial sh uh, start of the shift there, JT. And once he deferred, then Vancouver was able to roll in their scheme and denied any shots on goal there. Right off the stick of Baines, and now back on it, Max Lejoie to the boards, cut off, held in. 9.27 left to go in the opening period, even terms on the ice where it counts the Kraken by one on a goal by Ellie Tolvanen. Nine shots in the game, seven taken by Seattle. Sawyer Minio. who played with the Seattle Thunderbirds last season out to center. Finally coming here, Johnny. Right along the boards, it's dumped in on Decord, and the Kraken will go down a man. 9.03 left to go in period number one. The Kraken had a good looking power play, couldn't score. Brandon Byro will take a seat. Vancouver a man up when we come back. Seattle number 11, minor penalty for high sticking. With Chevy trucks, be ready for adventure. With power you can count on. Capability that doesn't compromise. A hardworking EV with more range than any competitor. And the potential to take you anywhere. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Chevrolet. Together let's drive. Teammates are like oxygen. Beautiful. They can pump you up or calm you down. Teammates stand proud with you so you can finally exhale. And the best teammates never let you forget to breathe. For more than 60 years, Symmetra Life Insurance Company has helped people breathe a little easier. With retirement, benefits, and life insurance products, Symmetra is your teammate for whatever lies ahead. 11 right here. 13 in the white sweater is our Steve Baines. He gets clipped. No, that wasn't, but I don't think that was his stick that hit him. I think it was a play, his old player's stick. I thought he lifted up the, uh, the Canuck stick. I don't know if we could take another look at that. That power play was good looking power play, by the way. Take another look at it. That power play was very good. We saw some of it there after the penalty or non penalty. But you know what? Just the facts. It's a penalty. Okay, Joe Friday. Thank yeah. you. Remember Bill Friday, way back when. You can Google that How now. About Sergeant. Thank you, Sarge. Now, <laughs> Vancouver to the power play with some talent in the lineup here tonight. Philip Hronik will walk the line a bit. Elias Pettersson right in for a shot off a stick off Larson's twig. Located by a 40 goal scorer last year, Brock Besser. Pedersen off a stick off Mitchell Stevens, not out though. Pedersen knocked down by Larson. The big cat will get to it. He'll get a clear. Vancouver now quickly up the ice. Their power play was number 12 a season ago. Pedersen. Now Besser. 
Gaines will cross the line. Threat of pass for Elias Pedersen to the point man, Horonic. Work it around now. Philip Horonic up top. He's guarded by Leighton Road. Pedersen, miss hit by Besser. Leighton Road with his good speed will get it out. Yeah, excellent play there. Sure, as far, former uh, college coaches at Bemidji State, Tom Saratore and Travis Winter watching their uh, former student athlete getting an opportunity to play in a National Hockey League game. Through center, Sherwood kicks it out. Linus Carlson to the slot for Suter. Hounded. Ryan Winterton clears it all the way down. 7.30 left in period one. 25 seconds as we see left on this power play for Vancouver. JT, the young guys get an opportunity to kill some penalties here. Well, I've done it before and getting those looks and so far so good. The pinches have been good. They're going at the right times. They're moving together as a unit and getting it 200 feet. And Heinen down the wall to the slot. Kicked out by Sherwood. Rather, Carlson now Myers moves it along. To get it back from Suter. A heavy shot swallowed up without rebound by Joey Decord. Just want to take a look at this again. I and mean, you look at this preseason for everybody. Now just stop it right here. You see where the stick is of of uh, Byro, right? He's here. Watch this stick that's here. Watch what ends up happening. Byro lifts up the stick. Watch, watch. The stick is already there. He lifts up the stick of the Vancouver player, and he catches his own stick right in the yap. Mm. So, again, I I don't think that's a penalty, but it is exhibition. Out of the corner for all of us. Maybe not for you, Prime, because you're yeah. in prime form right now. There it is again. Now what? Schwartz <laughs> will get to it. Never mind. I love now, that color. That is I'm a prime color one. you got on tonight. I'm, that new shirt and suit. I'm taking receipts. Old shirt, old yeah. suit. JT, he's got the he's got the, the, the yep. bowling shoes on tonight. He's gonna be in lane six tonight at midnight. And, yeah. And the old 7-10 <laughs> split out to center. <laughs> oh. Let's just say you oh, are under my four. skin tonight, okay? Josh you, you Forslund. It started around a quarter to four. Now <laughs> it's brought in. Like I said, it's preseason for everybody. Amberly, shadowed by Carlson through the middle of the ice. Attempting to get in the zone is Ben Myers. You know, Tyler Myers, no relation in control. He'll wind it out through center. A little short hopper wide of the court. That's icing. No, but you do look good. I mean, it, it's been a long off season, and it has been. You know, it's just it's just great to be to back, him. JT. Always good. I can see you up here, Johnny. You're looking good. He is. That color. That's prime color right there. That is beautiful. The shoes. Doesn't like the shoes. I can't can't see the can't All I know is that when we were driving in, folks, I just want to let you know. He was looking at shoes on his phone, and I think he was looking at shoes before we started our drive. He wasn't watching and looking at buying shoes while we were driving. It was oh, happening I before. So but random. Johnny, I, I looked at the. I saw. I saw the. No. I saw the app no. that you were on. Please, see, don't don't buy any of those shoes that you were looking at. It was a <laughs> random <laughs> pop up. Okay, that's oh, it. Oh, here we that's go. All it was. Blame the blame the uh, yeah. blame the the pop ups. Yeah, exactly. Johnny, I can help you with the kicks. I know I'll that. Get you some good ones. I know that. I know that. I need a breather now. Eberle for Larson, blocked by Sammy Blake. Was on. There a you play. go. Now we can go to break. And we are. And I'm going to look at my socks. You can and look my for. Shoes. You can look for a new pair of socks my while clothes. you're at it. <laughs> Papa needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Anyone need free checking? Yeah, I got a guy. Oh. Checking doesn't have to hurt. Like free checking with Wafed Bank. Tracking debit card doesn't hurt either. Now that's pain free checking. I'm a real wild one. Life is wild. There's work to be done. Adventure around every corner. And a truck that handles it all. The new 2024 Ford F-150 Wild Edition. It's rugged. Loaded with tech.
and built to go wild. Get a wild deal on an F-150 today. Lease a 2024 F-150 STX 4x4 for just $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. Hold on. This trip got me Alaska Gold 75K status? Looks like I leveled up somewhere between Seattle and New York. I knew you earned miles faster than other airlines, but like, okay, this is next level. I wonder if they'll take my photo and put it in every seat back on every airplane. I really hope fame doesn't change me. Well, get this. The Kraken are encouraging everyone to play hooky for hockey. Oh, how good is that? Don't miss the home opener October 8th at 1.30 p.m. Get your tickets now at seattlekraken.com slash tickets. Get your tickets and play hooky. Or it's 11.30. I got to go. I got to get down to CPA. Right? A little half day. Yeah. Right? I mean... I don't know. Just suggestion. Mm. Okay. Now you don't like that? Well, I, you know, I want everybody to go to school. If you have to go, to, you want people to not go to school. My kids are yeah. staying in school, right? Okay. I was a student Way athlete, go, so JT. school comes first. Yeah. Way to go. Winter everybody else, I'll sign them out, JT. <laughs> Let me sign them out. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know what school you went to. Now it's cleared out through center. The school of hard knocks. Yeah. Just remember that. He graduated summa cum laude. Oh, oh time out there. <laughs> that's what happened. Hold on a second. I Magna don't, I don't, cum laude. That's, that's a shot there, I think. It is. I've taken plenty. Leighton Road takes a shot blocked. And the Canucks now will attempt to get out. They do. Besser off the stick of Jake DeBrus. Very interested to see what he does with his new team. Yeah, I thought it was a really good signing there by... Uh, by Vancouver. He's been an unbelievable playoff performer. Probably played his best in the playoffs, John. Sure did. Last handful of years. Sure did. And of course, his dad, Louis, a longtime NHLer, great guy, great broadcaster, great one of the top broadcasters in uh, in Canada, working up in Sportsnet, and a little closer to home, too, for Jake, growing up in Edmonton. And his mom and dad still live, so we wish Jake DeBrusque and DeBrusque the best of luck with the new change. Kevin Lankinen will move it across. Controlled now at the defense by Christian Felton, who played at Merrimack College last season. They tie up along the boards. Bjorkstrand, Lajoie, one timer Mahura off net, caught by Lankinen. Boy, Chandler Stevenson is in midseason form here tonight. He just made a heck of a play. I think he used his skate to kick the puck to Ollie as they were in behind the net to create this chance. It's an excellent job. The one, look at, you know, you. You're splitting hairs here. Here's the play by Stevenson. Kicks it over. Ollie gets position on Pedersen, and the Kraken are off to the races. Just on that last play, made mention of it earlier, JT. He's got to do a better job of getting to the front of the net, taking the eyes away from the goaltender. Clean win by Stevenson. He's perfect in the period. Sorry, John. I think he's six for six in the faceoff dot. To the point, Evans off a couple of sticks retrieved by Bjorkstrand. He played off the skate boot. Uh, Jake DeBrot scout to center. Only lost one Edzo. Yeah, seven, seven, of eight. seven of eight. Yeah, so I got to get some uh, new crayons up here. We're back to school now. Out to center. What is that? Lousy what? Lousy Sukuma? Suma Kum Lousy. Yeah. yeah. Now out of the corner. <laughs> the high honor. Now it's cleared ahead. Patterson. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Oliver Bjorkstrand on the wall. Lost his stick. Not his mind. It comes out to center. Kudretsev. Broken up by Adam Larson. He'll go D to D with Riker Evans and get it back. Vince Dunn has yet to play in the preseason for Seattle on defense. Evans now will clear it in. Lankinen will move it. Bracken will be in Edmonton tomorrow night. We'll have it right here on the Kraken Hockey Network. Kudrasev losing his footing gets it out. Philip Horonic. Chipped in the zone by Nate Smith. Johnny, you made mention we're going to have a special guest uh, at the uh, top of the second period. Yes. Ron Francis will join us at the beginning of period two in the booth. 
Oh. Thank him in advance for Those that. Those stories about my old roommate there, JT. No, we'll clear that up. Yeah, no. We're going <laughs> to clear that up. The remote don't control. Worry. I don't even know if we had remote controls back then. <laughs> you did have a TV. Oh, yeah, we had yeah. a TV. Yeah, yeah, I think it was in color, but I think it was one of those, hey, kid, Turn the dial. get up and change the channel. <laughs> you know, his first roommate, right? Uh, yeah, I, I do. Uh, Davey Keon? Davey yeah, Keon. Davey Keon, yeah. 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 Who was Ronnie's legend, legend. legendary Toronto Maple Leaf. Legend. And he was finishing his career with the Hartford Whalers. And Ronnie came to camp, and that was his guy. Now a shot taken, stopped by DeCord. Good effort there by Vancouver to win that puck below the goal line. Linus Carlson onside will dust it off. Lajoie is defending. Carlson circling the track with it. All the way back it goes. Horonic, a slap pass, tipped right on DeCord, said no. Max Sasson had the tip. Everly now lays it back. Carlson, Max Lajoie all over him. They tie it up. A buck 57 left in period one. Sasson digs it out, impeded by Everly, who comes up with the puck. He'll sauce one across for right. Shane gets it back, and a restart for Seattle. Mahura stretches out beautifully. Everly's in. Stopped by Lankinen. Everly in back of the goal. Another shot. Lankinen makes the save on Byro. He'll cover up. Sawyer Mino with a great defensive play. He did. Yeah, yeah, Mino really made a good play. Ebbs thinks he's in all alone. And look at Mino right at the last second. Just lift up the stick. Does it beautifully. Doesn't get hands. He gets all stick. Excellent defensive play there by the young D-man. Yeah, good job for Everly to keep with it and ends up finding Byro for the second opportunity in. So a good defensive play, but also a good one for Everly. Yeah, and let's not forget that excellent pass there by Josh Mahura. Winterton out in front, choked off. A good defensive play by Christian Felton. Montour, they score! Brandon Byro! will get it. He's first to the bench. His first in the preseason as a Kraken. Yeah, it certainly changed direction. Byro doing a good job of getting there. But how many times did we see Brandon Montour in a game in one period just fire the puck at the net, change its direction, and ends up going off Forbert off the, the backside of Derek Forbert. And this puck was on edge to JT, which probably helped to propel off the backside, but say it often, great things happen when you fire the puck at the net. So Brandon Montour, after some brilliant seasons and a Stanley Cup with the Florida Panthers, signed as an unrestricted free agent. Seven-year deal. Yanni Newman shot denied by Lankin in a seven-year deal. Nice pass there by Road, right under the uh, stick and the between the blade and the skates of Tyler Myers. They give Newman the opportunity. Sorry, John. Yanni Newman will stay out there. He finished last year with Coachella Valley. As did Leighton Road. The book ends on this line for Mitchell Stevens. Possession goes to Vancouver. Maybe not. Road tied up by Felton. 45 seconds left in period one. 2 nothing Seattle. The latest goal from Brandon Montour. Riker Evans with a steal. He tried to drop it off for Adam Larson. To the wall it goes. Klimovic is there. He'll go cross corner. Forbert will tap it ahead. Sammy Blay had jumped his stick. Good job Larson for good Evans. Job. Yeah, good job by Larson there. Johnny's stopping right away to go back and get that puck. No circle, no flyby. The big cat stopping on a dime and going back and making that play. Ten seconds left in the period. Fifteen shots in the first 20. Eleven taken by Seattle. And the two goals. The early strike from Ellie Tolvanen. Then... Brandon Montour. A good first period for the home team. Ellie Tolvanen on the score sheet. And later on, Brandon Montour. Piper Shaw will talk it over with Ellie Tolvanen. We will hear from Ian Furness. We welcome him along with Allison Lucan. Welcome aboard, Ian. During our first intermission here We're tonight. We're all counting on you. 
tremendously. <laughs> After 20 minutes of play, we'll Seattle send, we'll 2. We have the ability to send a wrap just in case. Vancouver nothing. <laughs>19 years and made it better with trail dominating power, legendary capability, and high end performance. This Tacoma is built for fun inside and out. Now it's your turn. Get 5.99 APR financing on a new 24 Tacoma or lease one now for $349 a month. Toyota, let's go places. NHLShop.com, the official online store of the National Hockey League and the world's largest selection of officially licensed NHL fan gear with unique one-of-a-kind designs by Fanatics and all the latest styles for every NHL team. Don't miss out. Shop now and get today's special offer. NHLshop.com, a Fanatics experience. Backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $50 on the MS250 gas powered chainsaw. Real steel. Find yours. We kick off our first intermission here on the Kraken Hockey Network. Brandon Montour scoring late in the period. Early, it was Ellie Tolvanen. Here he is standing by with Piper Shaw. Ellie, an excellent five-man play there to tee up your goal with a notable contribution from Shane Wright. How have you seen his game grow? Uh, I think he measured a lot from last year. I uh, feel like he looked really really good last year, um, but I feel like this year he's took a really good step. Uh, you know, he's faster, stronger, you know, how he handles himself. Um, plays with the confidence, a lot of speed, so, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to play with that guy. And a couple of really good looks on the power play, too. How is kind of the chemistry building with the new personnel and the new systems? Uh, yeah, I mean... There's a lot of talented guys on that on that unit. I mean, Chandler and uh, Monty coming coming to our team this year, and uh, you know they're they're elite players. So you know they bring a lot of different different skill sets on that power play, and uh, I feel like it's just, it's only getting better. Uh, you know we're getting up comfortable with each other, and uh, I feel like we need to get a little pucks on it a little more. And uh, um, you know I think we're gonna we're gonna be good. 
Speaking of Chandler, your centermen have been absolutely dominating so far in this game, which hasn't always been the case in the past, right? How much of a boost can that really strong performance in the circle really give you guys on the wing to generate more? <laughs> no, it's a it's a lot of fun, you know. On a D zone, you don't you don't as a winger or D man, you don't have to eat those pucks, and uh, you know you get to play with the puck and offense. So you know it, it opens up the offensive play. You can make a, a face off play as well. But uh, you know I think it's a big big key to start with the puck. All right, Ellie, thanks for the time. Way to get this place rocking early. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, he did just that, Piper, no question, with a magic stick right here at the side of the goal. 2-0 Kraken, Ian Furness, Allison Lucan on the other side of this. Well, 20 minutes in to preseason game number three for the Seattle Kraken, and we can all take a deep breath and relax a little bit. 2 nothing. the Kraken with the lead over the Vancouver Canucks at Climate Pledge Arena. Ian Furness, Allison Lucan, and so far, so good in this, the third preseason game against their big rival, the Kraken, with a heck of a first period. Absolutely, but you know, even as fun as the hockey has been, I think we have a special guest, Ian. I, I like this. My, my first day on the job, and look who's here. It Bowie. is Bowie. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, I appreciate Bowie. that. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I love the love here. Bowie, 
Okay, what do you, in your hand, I think you have an exemption letter for Hookie for Hockey. That's right. We got Hookie for Hockey October 8th coming up. It's the first game of the season for the Kraken. It's a matinee affair. And how about that? Allison, I needed one of these in school because okay. I just played Hookie. So I needed one of these. Yeah, just go ahead right there. Sure. Perfect. I appreciate that. Uh, tickets available at SeattleKraken.com slash tickets. Take the day off. School, work, whatever it might be. Bowie says it's okay. If Bowie says it's okay, it's okay. We'll do whatever you say, Bowie. Thank you for Thank the you letter. Thank you so much. We we'll appreciate see you soon. that. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, that's coming up October 8th, the first game of the regular season. It's a matinee, a 1.30 start. Hey, why not kick off the afternoon with Bowie and the Kraken here at Climate Pledge Arena? Absolutely. And if the game continues, if the play continues like what we've seen, Ian, it'll be a lot of fun. Well, the first period started out very good for the Seattle Kraken, no doubt about that. They get on the board, and we really saw the Kraken play the style of play I think that they want to play this season. People say, what's the damn Bilesma style of play? Maybe the first period was the best illustration of all. Absolutely. This is a team that's been working to connect with each other and through their systems. And the first goal of the game really exemplified what the Kraken are looking to do. And that's attack with speed. Connect on their passing and get net front to cause a little bit of chaos and a little bit of traffic. Just an expert pass by Jordan Everly. He's so good at that. Ellie Tolvanen coming in for the little redirect. Getting that closure on Lankinen. Really nice way to start the game. It's our Emerald Queen Casino play to win, and boy, that was playing to win right there. Traffic for the net, zone entry, everything was good about that. And sometimes this is where the numbers don't make sense in terms of stats for players. Shane Wright was a big, big part of that play. He doesn't get a point, but he was a big part of that play. Absolutely. It's why we like to look at other things just besides yeah. those points and assists is the pressure that Shane Wright applies with the position of his body and pushing the Canuck player back and away from his defensive posture is what gives Everly space to make that pass. Allison, what I like to watch is guys that have skill that surprise you in training camp. And there's a player that has done that so far. Watching number 85 out there, Leighton Road, there is a wow factor with him. Speed in any sport makes a difference. This guy can get up and go. At 22 years old, this is another player, much like Ty Carte, the Kraken have done an excellent job finding these free agents who go undrafted, bringing them into the organization, and maximizing their strengths. I had the opportunity to see Road down in Coachella Valley for his first goal of the playoffs. The speed, the tenacity. Bilesma talked also about his ability to get net front and fight for those loose pucks. I think he's given Giving us a show of some of his best traits tonight. And Allison, for a player like that, when you come into training camp, you're just trying to catch the eye of everybody around you. It helps that the head coach up here saw him last year. And not a lot of guys go right from college to the American Hockey League and then actually get a chance to play in the postseason. I think that stands out to me as much as anything because that's making an impact early on. Absolutely. And this is, again, Bilesma knows these players. And for an organization growing from within, having that knowledge and relationships is key. Talk about making a difference so far. Some of the newcomers have done that so far for the Kraken, including Brandon Montour, who found the back of the net here in the first period. The Kraken taking a 2-0 lead after 20 minutes of play, putting some pressure on the Canucks inside the offensive zone. Second period coming up with Edzo, John, and JT. With Chevy trucks, be ready for adventure. With power you can count on. Capability that doesn't compromise. A hardworking EV with more range than any competitor. And the potential to take you anywhere. Well-qualified Northwest buyers get 0% financing plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. See your Northwest Chevy dealer. Yeah, like I love seeing kids nowadays loving their dad. Like, Dad, what's going on? Wanna go play, Dad? Let's go ride bikes, Dad! And I was a kid, I was like, Dad, Dad! Mom, what did you see in that? It's Fight Night, live boxing at Emerald Queen Casino Event Center. Saturday, October 19th. Make it a destination event. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. At Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. You love the internet. But do you love your internet? Do frozen screens make your heart melt? Do buffering wheels give you butterflies? <laughs> Didn't think so. You should meet Zipply Fiber. It's faster, it's friendlier, it's fiber. Zipply is fiber optic internet. That means no lag and no buffering. Gotta love it. Zipply Fiber. Call 1-888-GO-ZIPLY or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash go Zipply. Plans as low as 10 bucks a month. Teammates are like oxygen. Beautiful. They can pump you up. Yeah! 
or calm you down. Teammates stand proud with you, so you can finally exhale. And the best teammates never let you forget to breathe. For more than 60 years, Symmetra Life Insurance Company has helped people breathe a little easier. With retirement, benefits, and life insurance products, Symmetra is your teammate for whatever lies ahead. I'm a real wild one. Once in a while, we all want to go wild. We just need a little help. Meet a little help. The 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Wild Edition goes over any terrain so you can go all out. Get a wild deal on a Bronco Sport today. Lease a Bronco Sport Wild Edition for just $369 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. This trip got me Alaska Gold 75K status? Looks like I leveled up somewhere between Seattle and New York. I knew you earned miles faster than other airlines, but like, okay, this is next level. I wonder if they'll take my photo and put it in every seat back on every airplane. I really hope fame doesn't change me. Western Washington Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. And by Muckleshoe Casino Resort, the biggest and best in the Northwest. A Speaking beautiful of the night. Best. Will Speaking you of let the me best. do this? We have an upgrade <laughs> to announce in the booth. Fracton Executive VP and GM Ron Francis is here. Right in the center where he should be. Absolutely. Thank you for <laughs> doing this, Ronnie. First of all, a historical question. Okay. All right. You got to clear this up. <laughs> Was he your roommate, or were you his roommate? <laughs> uh, I think I think I was his roommate. Yeah. <laughs> he was no. great, though. He changed the TV really? channel for See, me. I, and told you. I can't awesome. even imagine. Some yeah. yeah. people want us to live together this year, yeah. but that, that would what be do you the think? odd couple. I'm not sure you <laughs> want to do that. Exactly, so. exactly. Well, well, Ronnie, thanks thanks for joining us. Yeah. We appreciate Thank it. Um, obviously, a terrific start in this game. Yes. Is is a general manager and a guy that played for a long time, a Hall of Famer. The importance of evaluating now the young guys and the older guys and it's in really in a short camp because things have really changed over the years. Well, the, the challenge is you only got six games to do it, right? right? And you're trying to evaluate your NHL team and get that ready uh, for opening day. You're trying to evaluate your call-ups and what order they might be as they, they get you know, have injuries and have to fill up during the season. And you're also trying to look at your young kids and see where they are in the process. So a lot to evaluate here in the short season. You have a new coach. How long does it take realistically for the system to be in play for the guys to get it certainly when there's a mixed bag in terms of prospects and veterans it's harder but how long will that process take. Well I mean he's making subtle changes to things and it's it's a little bit more challenging because you know, with the games and stuff and 60 players to start camp you don't get the practice time you really want but uh, you know he's slowly been incorporating it in and as we as we cut our numbers down here uh, we will get more and more to that. Brock Besser will pull up in the Seattle zone the crack in a two nothing lead good save by Joey Decord off the shot by Philip Hironic. Well your two big signees Ronnie over the course of uh, free agency. Good job there by Alexiak to negate the icing. Uh, really strong period by Chandler Stevenson. He was I, mean, I thought he was perfect in that first period and uh, and then Brandon Montour obviously with the goal just your thoughts on the process of you know inquiring about those guys and then eventually getting the job done and uh, and paying them very well. Yeah, no, it was, you know, it's always an interesting process when you get there. Uh, you know, in, in Chandler's case, we talked to him uh, opening day, and then he had a couple other interviews uh, after he talked to us. And we feel fortunate that he, he, he decided to come with us. We're really excited to have him on board. Uh, you know, he lost money at the deadline last year. Right? Chandler can put up points. He can win faceoffs, as you saw in the first period, and do, do a lot of good things. We're excited about that. And then Monty. I know you've been uh, pumping his tires for a long time, but going back to his draft <laughs> year when he was playing with your son. But uh, we finally got him. And just his energy has been outstanding. What a good player. Great energy brings to the team. 
Now, again, you watch these guys, Ronnie, like you do, and you know every player in the league, and that's something that I've always admired about you. I mean, from our days of playing together and all the years, and now this is your, your job, right? Of getting to know these guys when you're talking to them, right? And the feel of you know, where their mind is and, you know, the role that they're going to play. How, how was that part for you? And, and obviously, you, you know, you sold Seattle on them, which, you know, that's just the way that it is, the recruiting. But how was that process for you when you're talking to these guys, not only as players, but as people? Yeah, no, I mean, first and foremost, we want good people. We want character in our organization. So uh, that's something we look for. When you're having our discussions, I think it's a little bit easier when we start talking about Seattle based on what our orders uh, <laughs> That was okay. a little exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. That's all right. Um, He's a paid professional. That's okay. We got <laughs> well, you're it. You're flawless. Yeah. Um, you know, but you, you, we've got great ownership, and you look at the facilities we have here, the facilities we have at KCI, and, um, you know, it allows uh, us when we, we start selling right. our market, we talk about our fans, we talk about our facilities, talk about ownership, and, and guys talk around the league, right? So how is it in Seattle? And when you treat the players the way our owners treat our players, it, it makes it easier to recruit other players as well. We see your new coach and, you know, the job he did. Let's get to that first. The job he did in the American Hockey League over the last two seasons, the season before in Charlotte. But just, to, you know, give us your impressions of that and how it translates to this team. Yeah, no, the thing that was impressive in, in uh, Coach Allen, it's a new franchise. There's a lot of things that, that you got to deal with, and he handled everything flawlessly. Uh, I thought our veteran players really respected him and played well under him. And I think our young players really got better under him as well. So, you know, I think that's going to be well, uh, serve well for him here in, in our lineup, getting to know the veteran guys, getting the most out of them. A lot of the, some, some of the young kids he's already coached, so he knows them coming up. So I, I think it's a good fit for where we are as an organization right now. Ronnie, I got, I got to ask you. One of the bigger questions that's been asked is the captaincy. It's open, it's vacant. Uh, obviously, you had one initially, you know, four years ago with, with Gio, with Mark Giordano. Um, if I can ask, wh where is that at, and, and what's the what do you think the process is here moving forward? Yeah, no, I, th I think we'd like to name one. Um, you know, in fairness to Dan, he's trying to get to know all the players okay, in our organization. Yeah. So, you know, let him come in, spend some time, get to know the guys sit on the bench with them, see how everybody handles the yeah. bench in different situations, and then as we get closer towards the end of the camp, uh, hopefully we've got a decision in our mind that okay. we can put the letter on somebody. That would be great. 17-38 left to go in the second period. 2-0 Kraken, preseason game number three. Ron Francis, kind enough to join us here tonight. For the rest of this game, he doesn't know it, but Mahura <laughs> shot denied by Lankinen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, right? Why well, get me? I want to work tomorrow in Edmonton up. if possible. <laughs> so I'll take that one back. Now, Yanni Newman with a chance to flex off the stick of Felton. He has a big league shot. Yeah, no, it, really impressive last year. Uh, you know, he, he set a record that it stood, or broke a record that it stood for over 40 years in the, the Liga in Finland, which is the top league, the men's league. Scored 28 goals. It was the most goals scored by a player under the age of 20 in the last 40 years. And I believe it was Saku Koivu had the, had the record previously. Wow. So big time shot. Um, Just took a shot there and it was a good yeah, stop there. You can shoot it. It's good to see him hustling on the back check as well. So he's working on all facets of the game, which is what you want to see from your young player. Ronnie, we're going to go down to ice level. JT's got a question for you. All yeah. right. Yeah, Ronnie, I got a question about a lot of excitement, obviously, with Monty and Stevenson. But I think from fans' perspective, too, they're excited to see maybe right on a more consistent base. So what have you seen from him and his growth? You know, he just looks like a different player this year in Camp JT. He's, uh, he's much more confident. Uh, he's stronger than he was, you know, last year and two years ago. And just carrying a sort of a different presence about him, uh, the way he's carrying himself. So really like nice the way play. he's been playing. And, uh, you know, I think it'll translate into a, a good season for him for us uh, moving forward. Leighton Road out in front. They score! Yeah. It's Ryan Winterton. I think the boys know the boss is here. Three nothing, Kraken. Uh, pretty, pretty exciting there. You look at Leighton Rowe. We signed him as a free agent. Uh, Eddie's son, Eddie Jr., was a big fan and a big reason and pushed for him. And, and the speed that he exhibits here, going wide to create that opportunity is good. And then another young kid, the Ryan Winterton. He scored 20 some goals last year in, in Coachella. Didn't get on the power play. 
and uh, still scored over 20 goals. So he's got a bright future with us as well. Yeah, and that, I mean, that back check by Rowe, too, created the chance. And then you said, Ronnie, the speed outside, the recognition, and just throw it out at the net. And Lincoln had made a good stop initially. I think it went off the skate of Winterton in front. But then the key to me here is, I mean, the teaching point here, Ronnie, is the stopping in front of the net, right? No flyby, no, you know, no hoping that is, you know, like the play. You go there, you stop in the blue paint. Yeah, you might take a stick, you might take a punch, whatever it is, but it's going to feel awfully good when that puck ends up into the back of the net. So excellent play by two of your your uh, your young players there. So spoken like a true goal scorer, wasn't it, Johnny? Just, uh, yeah, hold just on, amazing. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Three hundred and a how many? A couple. Okay. Well, enough, I, I, you know, two great teaching points there. The back pressure creates the turnover, right. and then that leads to the rush offensively and as you said getting to the front of that and stopping a lot of good things happen when, when you get to the front of that and stop yeah, i mean we heard ian and allison talking about it ian brought up late road we talked about him in the open icing here against uh, vancouver but just the you know the ability things seem to happen when he's on the ice right now. like I, I i don't know what the reports were of how he played last year in cb talking about late road you mentioned about winter did no power play and the guy gets 20 but road i mean it just seems like he has the ability to put pressure on people yeah no the speed is is what we really love about yeah. his game there's still some teaching to do sure, there and 100%. some things in his game but yeah. uh you can't teach speed like that so uh he got some games in the playoffs yeah. last year, even in the finals for CV and handled himself really well. So well, we're excited about bringing him into the fold here and working with him. And uh, we think he's got he's got real good potential for the organization. Well, obviously, Dave Lowry is a holdover from Coach Hackstall's staff, but a lot of changes. And also Stevie Briere, the tremendous goaltending coach for for your team. But lots of changes uh, behind the bench, including uh, Jess Campbell and Bobby Woods. Uh, just talk about their additions and and how you obviously, you know, just from the minors, but just how that's all uh, transported uh, now with uh, with the new team into the new season. Yeah, in, in, in Jess's case, uh, I, I first saw her years ago at the World Championship. She was on the bench with Germany and working with Tom Rowe and talked with Tom after just about, you know, the job she did and he spoke extremely highly of her. As we were looking to fill out our staff in Coachella, I talked to Dan about it and said, hey, how would you feel about entertaining a, a female member on your staff? And he said, yeah, as long as they're good. And so we interviewed a few people, ended up with Jess, and she did a real good job there. Uh, she was in charge of the power play. I sat in on a few of her meetings, and, and she's very uh, knowledgeable, very articulate. Uh, her meetings are very clear and direct to the players. So really got some, uh, some good uh, uh, sort of experience there. And as we moved up here, Dan wanted her to be a part of his staff again, which is exciting. And, breaking that barrier the first sure. ever female coach in the national hockey league but it's not because she's female it's because she's a really good coach 14 17 left to go as we see jessica campbell 59 seattle is a minor for a high stick yeah. ben myers high sticking and then bob woods's case and we worked with dan before in buffalo so uh, they had a relationship uh, i actually coached or had Bob's son uh, Brandon in Carolina back okay. in the day, so yeah. kind of some familiarity with the family, and uh, excited to have There's his Woodsy. experience behind the bench as well. Yeah. He has a tremendous amount of experience. Mitchell Stevens attempting to win it from Elias Pedersen. Power play Vancouver, their second. Dubrovsk, Pedersen and tight off bodies. Ames taken down by Alexiak. And the Canucks now will set up this power play with Brock Besser. One timer, Hronik denied a stick save by Decord. And a clear by Mitchell Stevens. Ronnie, I want to ask you about Matty Beneers. Obviously, you got him signed up, a long term contract. And uh, looks like Matty is, uh, is raring to go here moving forward. Yeah, I know he really worked hard this summer. You know, he came in, I think he played last year at 171. He came in this year at 184. Uh, so he put on some weight, but when you look at sort of the sheer body mass, it was like up 17. So really good work by him in the offseason. He looks excited, ready to go. We got the contract done, which I think was bothering a bit last year, and, and that's behind him now. So yeah. really excited. We forget how young this kid is, right? right? And, right. And, and he's done a lot for us in a few years, but uh, we think the future with him is extremely bright. I, I want to ask you, I don't want to say the impact that Chandler Stevenson could have on Maddie. But um, having him around him and be able to watch, because Chandler's been, a, I mean, a pro's pro here, averaging 60-plus points the last three years. And, oh, by the way, two-time Stanley Cup champion. Well, you want to kind of bring those guys into your organization, right? Chandler, two-time Stanley Cup, plays the game the right way, uh, very talented. And, uh, you know, he'll be a huge asset for Maddie yeah. as Maddie's continuing to learn the league and, and going through things. And 
Um, really excited to have him on board. He, he talked about Montour, Stanley Cup, right. you know, Dunn Stanley Cup, Short Stanley Cup, yeah. you know, Grubauer Stanley. There's a lot of yeah. Stanley Cups in the yeah. locker room, and that's what you want, especially when you got young guys coming into your organization to learn from those kind of individuals. And you talk about the center ice position because, look, you're one of the greatest ever. The depth that you have now, and again, from a, not from afar, but you know, from watching up 30,000 feet, you got Stevenson. You got Maddie. You got Yanni, who I mean, you can play on your top line, or you can play him, you know, on, in the third line. And obviously, the, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with Shane Wright or whoever the other center might be. But your depth has gotten large. And speaking of Wright on cue, Johnny, as we love to say, nice shot block there by Wright. But 100%. the depth at the center ice position is gigantic. Well, I, I mean, it's critical, right? We're still young uh, in, in some regards of that position with Maddie and Wright, and. You know, we got a we got a young player in Cat that really had a good camp as well. So we think there's a lot of pieces there. We've got some centermen that can can play the middle. We can also play the wing if need be. So you never have enough centermen. You, you know, things happen in a hurry, and you're short in that position. It's so critical. Well, we're living right because we've blown right through the first commercial yeah. timeout, and we have more time with. I think JT has got another question down there. He's got his hand up. He's raising yeah, yeah. his hand. Open okay. school again. I got another one. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being a mime. <laughs> well, with, uh, with more teams going away from having one goalie playing, say, that 60-game mark, what's the importance of having both goaltenders playing at the same time, and how do you see that going forward with this team? Yeah, I think, I think the days of those big number goaltenders, uh, you know, 65-plus is, is kind of behind us. The schedule is too hard, and the games are too important now with, with everything going on. So. I think having Gruby and Joey both playing the way they can play gives us a real solid, you know, combination in net. And, uh, you know, if one gets hot, I'm not afraid to run with him for a while as well. Vancouver will cross the line. So a game tomorrow night in Edmonton. As Chandler Stevenson moves in. So how does that set up for next week in terms of the roster and what needs to be done now getting down to it? Well, we made some cuts today. Uh, we'll make a few more uh, sort of post game here. Uh, hopefully the guys aren't listening in between periods, but uh, we'll make some post game. Get on the road. We get, you know, the two games in Edmonton and Calgary, and then we come home. Probably when we get to the, the lineup against Edmonton, you'll see kind of what we think our lineup will be on opening day. Um, <clears throat> probably get through that one and then, and then make our final cuts just to make sure that we're healthy. As we head into uh, opening day, Ronnie, I'll give you uh, Johnny's phone number so you can. That's that. You know. <laughs> well, I think he. Ha well, maybe not. <laughs> well, maybe no, I mean, he maybe said maybe cuts. Doesn't. I wasn't sure what was going on. You know, so. Well. You're a keeper, Johnny. You know that. I don't know about that. Now through center. <laughs> <laughs> Careers have a shelf life, no right. matter who you are. Hey, Ryan, I got to ask you, and we're going to let you go as soon as this next commercial break comes. But a guy to me that looks like he's on the verge of scoring 30 plus is Oliver Bjorkstrand. Yeah. He, he looks like he. I mean, he looks free to me. I don't know if that makes any sense, but he just looks like he's got some uh, some real confidence going on right now. Yeah, no, I mean, the opening year, uh, he was coming off uh, some surgery, so he wasn't 100% at the start of the season, still had a good year, put up some good numbers, and then uh, last year had a real good start, uh, finish wasn't great for everybody, but uh, he looks like he's he's raring to go this year, real good shape, excited to be here. Uh, he and his wife welcomed the little one into their family last year, so that's always an adjustment when it happens, but uh, things, are, things are all good and moving forward for the whole family, so excited to see him have a real good year for us as well. Shane Wright out of the corner. Tries to get by Tyler Myers. 9.50 left to go in the second period. Bracken with a three goal lead as we're joined by Bracken general manager Ron Francis for an extended stay. Brendan Byro was taken down. Now right out of the corner. Riker Evans with a shot tipped on. Lankinen would save. Good shot there by Evans. What well, about the progress of Riker Evans here? Uh, yeah, no, I, I think it was a little bit of a surprise when we uh, we called his name in the second round a few years ago. It might even been a surprise for him because he wasn't there when I tried calling him at the draft table. He didn't answer the phone. But, um, he's really every year just continued to get better and better and uh, played a lot of hockey over the last couple of years. He has played right? a lot of yeah. hockey and, yeah. and uh, you know he'll he'll be in our lineup opening day for yeah. sure. Maddie's call went right to voicemail too, right? He did. Yeah, well, we always take your call. I appreciate that. Thanks, Ronnie, guys. Thanks so Ronnie, much. Thanks, man. Best of luck. My well, pleasure. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank appreciate you. It. The great Ron. It's Francis. been great being with you, Johnny. Ronnie will call you after the game. <laughs>
to get this limited edition travel kit presented by Amazon. When you come to the home opener October 8th, get your tickets at seattlekraken.com slash tickets. Look, Johnny, I already got one. How'd you get that? Whoa. I find a way to get things. It's nice. Oh, it's got a nice. lot of room. A little bit different on the inside. Has a zipper. Can fit all of your things, Johnny. All your hairspray. Oh, exactly. All the hair maybe product. Not all exactly. That. El Nino 35 goes in there right I'm there. I'm glad That's I got one like for the that. first road trip. I want one of those. It's, looks like a carry-on. Now through center. That is a prime bag right there. It is. Beautiful. On prime. Now along the boards. I like how that sounds. Now to the point. Montour with a shot off the blocker, Kevin Lankinen. And we thank yes, very much. the Hall of Famer. Yeah. Number 10, Ron Francis. Oh, what a chance there by Road. Excellent chance. The kids had a great game. And Stevens with a nice pass there. A couple of different line combinations here for Coach Dan Bosman. He's flipped Myers and Stevens in between Road and Winterton. And as uh, Ronnie said about Coach Bilesman, he knows these young guys and seen him really at the most pressure point in the American Hockey League and excellent opportunity for those guys and there's that comfort zone right JT when you have a relationship with the coach and he knows what you are and what your strengths and weaknesses are and nice shot block there. Linus Carlson injured on the play. And he will hobble off in front of JT and get to that Vancouver bench icing is called here. Yeah, he sold out there Carlson and laboring right in front of head coach Rick Tockett. Face off win Josh Mahur can really shoot the puck. He's had himself a good strong start to this game and there you see Carlson. Might not get on the score sheet or anything like that points wise but you're a young player like Carlson. Coaches will remember that play, no doubt about it. Another face-off win. LeJoie looking for a tip, none available. Jaden Schwartz out of the corner. Mahura, now Schwartz. He'll take it in. He's picked up by Max Sasson. Philip Hironik reads the play away from Chandler Stevenson. Hironik out of the corner, stood up by Stevenson. Baines taken down by Mahura. And play on. And a reset for the Kraken. Up by three. 12 minutes gone in the second period. Kraken now look to establish a four check. Ash deep. Arch deep Baines trying to get it out. Now it's cleared all the way back in. Stevenson out of the corner. Out of the reach of Arch deep Baines. And now it's played by Riker Evans. Little chip goes wide off the stick of Schwartz. Baines leads it for Klimovich out through center. The cord out to center ice. Schwartz. Spin it deep in the zone. 19 shots for the crack and eight taken by Vancouver. Ryan Winterton adding to a 2 0 lead here in the second period. Myers gain the red line and send it hard around. Nebrusk. Out of the reach of Riker Evans. Everly helping out for the Kraken. Good four checking by Sherwood. A nice recovery by Riker Evans. Shane Wright. Get it in back of Tyler Myers. Myers out of that corner again by Kiefer Sherwood out through center. Alexiak in control. I loved how Ronnie was talking about uh, about Maddie. He's talk about what he's done over the course of the summer and you know Ronnie made the comment right about the you know the contract situation last year and maybe weighed on Maddie a tad and you now he should be uh, feeling fine and just time to get down to business now. It. Yeah. It's all yeah. taken care of. You, you know we, we saw what he could do uh, you know a year ago so Good super save. important yeah super important to uh, Two plus seasons in the National Hockey League, one outstanding one, one below average, and time to bounce back. Oh, nice shot block there. Excellent job. Yanni Newman with that block. Besser with a shot off Alexiak in play. Felton at the point. Good keep in there. Byro gets it out. Felton for Vancouver. 
Five forty five left to go in the second period. Through center ice. Christian Felton. You know, most all, you know, all I don't say all but most young players go through you know some struggles I mean, some are for the first year second year. me and for me personally JT I don't know what was for you but for me my third year was my work I mean it was all right yeah my first year was good my second year was very good and my third year I had it was an awful year so how about you JT did you, did you ever like really have a tough time in the first couple of years of your career yeah, in the I mean, show yeah it's always an adjustment I yeah. think but then you start to get used to it you feel fine but whether it's their second year, third year, or sometimes even the fourth, it does happen. It's more just about how you can rebound and how you can bounce back from that. And obviously, Maddie's put in the work this summer, so you're looking for a bounce back season from him. Well, I guess that's where the mental aspect yeah, of this comes in time. play, right? Yeah, so, big time. so what did it for you? Uh, you mean what? I'm sorry for for that you bad year. Back from that third year. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I got traded. Okay. So I changed position. I went from wing to center, which has been always my natural position, and. Had a you know had a good first year in Toronto so with the Maple Leafs but it's just one of those things and look it's tough I mean you know everybody's talking about the media's talking about it, your family your friends you don't have any friends when you're not playing well but you know what I mean like it's just not it's just the reality of it so learn you got to go through it you got to learn you can't you only can control certain things and that was probably the psychological part maybe even made it worse and put more pressure on myself. Archdeep Baines with a shot that was blocked by Riker Evans. Sasson will hand off. Baines out of the corner. He'll turn it back. Good year in the American Hockey League last year. This game is flying along here. We might be able to catch dinner tonight, Johnny, on the way home. How about you, Johnny? You ever have a uh, down year behind the mic? Yeah. The last three out to center now. <laughs> Stevenson will cross the line. That's about the only thing we've agreed on in three years, by uh -huh. the way. Stick around. <laughs> now, drop pass for Myers. Myers now will creep in. A wrap chance scores. Tyler Myers circling the wagons. What a play. 342 left to go in the second period. Vancouver on the board. What a play here. This is an outstanding play. Just I want everybody to watch when Tyler Myers. Holds on to this puck. Watch Joey Decord go down. Myers has it. Is he going to shoot it? Is he going to shoot it? Joey goes down. And once he's down, Myers, who's six foot 11, he's not going to miss that. And once Joey got locked down, he had a wide open net there, JT. That's just great patience by the big D man there. He also, if you look at Joey's left skate, too, it's outside the post, so he has to stop and push. He is not able to push off the post and get over to the other side faster. And again, it does help when you're the size of Tyler Myers. You have that stick to be able to wrap it around that quickly. I'm exaggerating. Well, I've not been, really. I've been known skates. to do, but no, yeah, you know, a six, skates seven, is probably at least six nine. Six skates, nine, yeah. I was going to let that oh, go. 6 11 Canadian. How's that? That was not one of your usual embellishments. Now, where did I go? To, where did I go? Uh, what was my uh, school there? The graduate of what? Lousy? No, that's the, yeah, that's your honor that was oh, bestowed upon yeah. you upon graduation. <laughs> now, Oleksiak rubbed out on the way through. Good block by Felton. Brock Besser hounded by Eberly. He'll dump it in. And obviously, you like to see Joey just hold his ground there, right? Like, just stay on your feet as long as you can. But if you are going to go down, you got to get, once he doesn't shoot it, at some point, you got to release and you got to push over. But JT made the great point about the skate positioning. But that's what uh, preseason and practice is, is for. And I'm sure Stevie Breer, the terrific, terrific goaltending coach of the Kraken, will, you know, him and Joey will have a video session there at some point. And, uh, you know, it's, if you can learn from it, then that's the, the best part about history. Or at least one of them, anyways. Four goalies remain right now in camp. The court, Philip Grubauer, Alish Stezka, and Nicholas Coco remain with the Kraken. Now, Hironik. Minya with a shot turned out by Decord. Good shift here by Sammy Blay. A couple of big hits. One on LeJoie and then that one on Mahura. Another rap chance. This one. Pew Suter denied by Decord. Blay keeps the flow going for Vancouver. Philip Hironik with a pinch. Brandon Byro attempting to get to it. He gets help from Ben Myers who has an assist tonight. And a goal on Tuesday, he'll feed it in. And Myers does a good job at getting to that red line, getting the puck in deep, and then wholesale changes right in front of JT. Out through center. It's rattled in on Decord. Got to move look out. A turnover on a miscue by Decord. Myers will take it in. Myers circling. This time on the outskirts from the point. 
Kutraitsev with a bid. Now Sasson, Winterton, Stevens overskated it. And the Canucks have some energy here as Arsty Baines will get it deeper in the zone. Sasson throws it across. Mitchell Stevens for the Kraken. 67 seconds left in the second period. Icing against Seattle. But well, we saw Joey uh, with the mishandle there. And look at there were some times post winter classic that it became an adventure a couple of times. I think JT just look at just trying to do too much as far as I'm concerned. Going back there, knowing that he can handle the puck, like your first main gig is stop the puck, right? Like don't give any freebies and but oh good save there by Joey. Beautiful save off the lost faceoff. But that's just something that's got to get cleaned up and just knowing when to go out and play it, knowing how much time you have, and if not, just live to fight another day and just move it and get back into the net. The last save was on Elias Pedersen. Debrusque, Myers fishing for it. We'll get it back from Winterton. And the Kraken will chop it out to center. 35 seconds left here in the second period. Three to one Seattle Sherwood throws some snow on Larson Pedersen down deep Riker Evans is all over him Sherwood indirects it back Belton steered along and out of play by Decord. I haven't seen the uh, the testiness as we saw the other night JT in Vancouver a little bit there towards the end you hearing any you hearing much down there JT you got you, I think you got the best seat in the house but it's a if, fun one yeah, yeah no have you heard have you heard much uh, going on like verbally like we did the other night no definitely not the yeah. same as far as okay. the anger I guess between both sure. teams or even the physicality is not as what it was yeah but we all know that that can change in no time. One hit, one play. It's all it takes sometimes, and the wires cross, and here you go. Chandler Stevenson kicked out of this faceoff. Gaden Schwartz wins it cleanly back. And the Kraken will dump it out to center ice. 12 seconds left here in the second period. Jamie Oleksiak. Schwartz now. Deeper in the zone, five seconds on the clock. Racking up by a deuce out of the corner. Philip Horonic goes down at the horn. So Leighton Road set up Brian Winterton for the third Seattle goal. You'll see it right here, and Leighton will talk it over with Piper Shaw. We'll see and hear from Ian Furness and Allison Lucan, all part of our second intermission. After 40 minutes of play, the Kraken three, the Canucks one. Chevy gets it. I want it, and I can afford it. Can be one and the same. With Chevy Trax, a car and driver 10 best. The rugged Chevy Trailblazer. And Chevy Colorado, Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Chevy, all you want is all within reach. Connected by OnStar. Qualified Northwest lessees can lease this Trax for around $249 a month. See your Northwest Chevy dealer. Am I relaxing in an airport? Okay, Alaska Airlines. This lounge is nice. Like handcrafted espresso bevies, hot food free, Wi Fi nice. And these comfy chairs? This puts my condo to shame. It'd be crazy if I just missed my flight and broke my lease and made this my home forever. I wonder if anyone would notice. Five Americans deal with mental health conditions every year. No matter who you are, it's okay to ask for help. So don't wait. Premier Blue Cross, always in your corner.
love the internet. But do you love your internet? Do frozen screens make your heart melt? Do buffering wheels give you butterflies? <laughs> Didn't think so. You should meet Zipply Fiber. It's faster, it's friendlier, it's fiber. Zipply is fiber optic internet. That means no lag and no buffering. Gotta love it. Zipply Fiber. Call 1-888-GO-ZIPLY or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash go Zipply. Plans as low as 10 bucks a month. I'm a real wild one. Once in a while, we all want to go wild. We just need a little help. Meet a little help. The 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Wild Edition goes over any terrain so you can go all out. Get a wild deal on a Bronco Sport today. Lease a Bronco Sport Wild Edition for just $369 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. Teammates are like oxygen. Beautiful. They can pump you up or calm you down. Teammates stand proud with you so you can finally exhale. And the best teammates never let you forget to breathe. For more than 60 years, Symmetra Life Insurance Company has helped people breathe a little easier. With retirement, benefits, and life insurance products, Symmetra is your teammate for whatever lies ahead. in the books. Cracking with a 3-1 lead as the teams traded a goal each in the middle frame. We talked about Leighton Road in that first intermission, the impact he's made so far, especially with his speed. He made an impact in that second period, and now he's going to have a conversation with Piper Shaw. Well, Leighton, it is great to see you in a Kraken sweater. You played a couple of handful of games last year for the Coachella Valley Firebirds. How have you found the adjustment from college hockey to the pro game? Um, it's, it's, it's gone well. I mean, we got a great, great group of guys here and down on Coachella to help me, help me adjust. I mean, it's a lot faster and more physical, but I think I've handled it well. We've seen the speed that you can clearly bring. What kind of a message are you trying to send about the game that you want to play? Yeah, I mean, I just want to play a high speed, high speed game. Uh, use my feet, uh, create, create havoc for their defensemen, and turn pucks over. And uh, hopefully, good things will happen. You tee up Ryan Winterton on that goal. He's crashing the net. What have you noticed about what it takes to get to those dangerous areas like he did there in the National Hockey League? Yeah, I mean, you got to be hard nosed. You got to be willing to go to the front of the net. Um, I mean, good things happen when you go there. And yeah, you saw that there with Wins one. All right. Thanks for the time, Leighton. Good luck. Yep, thank you. Leighton Road, one of those players trying to crack the roster in the National Hockey League. Coachella Valley is a nice place, but I'm sure he'd rather be here. We'll talk about some of those bubble players for the Kraken when the second intermission continues.
it's a beautiful game, the game of hockey, even in the preseason. You can have some great entertainment here in Seattle tonight. 3 1, the Kraken lead the Vancouver Canucks after 40 minutes of play. Welcome back in. Ian Furness, Allison Lucan. And it's a fun period. It's been a fun hockey game so far tonight. And part of the fun that we have watching these young guys battling for roster spots, and nobody's telling these guys that Dan Bilesman has a pretty good idea who his roster is. He thought that before camp, but there's some guys out there trying to make a move. Well, it's an interesting time, right, because the Kraken sent 10 players to Coachella. Two have to go through waivers first today. We have to remember Coachella has to get their camp going. Coach Laxtall down there needs to do exactly what we've seen happening up here. So it's been a really cool time for players who are leaving and going to Coachella. This is when that junior team is going to start to build with Kraken prospects. It's going to start to look different, younger, but really exciting for the Kraken future, which leaves some guys here. It does indeed. It's fun, too, because this is the first year that they've had a chance to play in a rookie tournament. They did that in California. They didn't bring anybody in an amateur tryout uh, contracts, which has happened in the past. They have all of their own guys here, and a lot of those guys are making impression, including in that second period. Piper just talked to one of those guys. I feel like we were the ones that spurred Clearly. that on, right, with our first Clearly. period intermission. Allison, we talked about Leighton Road. Piper got a chance to talk to him, and we saw him make a big play. In that second period. Well, we talked about his tenacity with the puck and his speed. Both came into play as he gained possession of the puck, comes into the zone, and then sets up Ryan Winterton, who Kraken fans got to see a little taste of last season, gets that goal. A nice confidence boost for that player after being up at the NHL level last season. But he's one of a couple players who are in the mix, in my opinion, for who might be contending for a roster spot come opening day. We talked about Wince. Shane Wright, of course, is looking really confident and fully of himself as a strong player. You saw his play on the boards. You saw his play setting up that first goal of the game. Ben Myers, a seasoned veteran who has NHL experience, gets the goal last game. And then, of course, John Hayden. A lot of people will talk about his physicality, mm -hmm. but this is a really well-rounded player who is on a one-way contract this year and could contribute in all three zones. When he signed that one-way contract, and for those who don't know, that means that he's getting paid the same whether he's down there or up here, and teams don't like to send guys down there to Coachella if they're on a one-way deal. Hayden was a big part of that Calder Cup run last season, too. We think of him as a guy that's going to stick up for his teammates, but we saw a lot of skill from him in the AHL playoffs last year. Absolutely, and you know he worked a lot on his skating with Jessica Cam. He's put a lot of effort into his play off the ice as well as on. And again, getting to watch him, particularly in those playoffs, this is a leader and this is a guy who can contribute in play. I think we could all name the top six defensemen right now. It's almost like not maybe penciled in, maybe sharpied in in a sense right now, Allison. But usually you're going to carry probably seven, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe even eight. We'll see what the salary cap says and how that dictates. That's not our fault, or our job. That's Ricky Olchek's job and <laughs> Ron Francis's job. But let, we know who the six are. What about the players that are trying to find a spot on the roster as defenseman number seven and or eight? Well, there's a new face and an old face coming into this. Kale Fleury, who's been with the organization for some time. Yep. I think he's had a really nice camp, a solid player who's proven at the AHL level and has stepped into NHL duty as well. And then newcomer Josh Mahur, who yep. we're watching tonight, another guy played on that Florida Stanley Cup winning team last year. This is another contender for that spot. And I agree with the travel, particularly to the east, right. that the Kraken have when they're on the road, having those extra players just in case someone needs some rest or has an unfortunate injury is key to keeping the ball rolling when the games are coming quick and furious. It's a perfect balance, too, because you have, really, if you want to include eight, you have four right shots, you have four left shots. It's a perfect scenario really setting up in terms of roster construction, isn't it? Absolutely. That's exactly what you want to see on a pairing is a left-hander and a right-hander. It enables the strongest passing. It enables feeding forwards up the boards yep. on both sides of the ice, and it can also be a really effective way to challenge forwards coming down on their strong side as well, matching stick to stick. Well, 20 more minutes for some people to make an impression on head coach Dan Bilesma and Ron Francis as well. I want to remind you that you can secure your seats to six giveaway night games when you get a Kraken six game giveaway pack. Don't miss your chance to walk away with limited edition Kraken giveaways. Go to SeattleKraken.com slash ticket packs for more information. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. We'll head back upstairs in just a couple moments with John Forslin, Eddie Olchek, and JT Brown. 3-1, Kraken after two. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, get a free battery when you buy an MSA 220CB battery chainsaw set. A $300 value. Real steel. Find yours. It's Blackberry Smoke at Emerald Queen Casino Event Center, Thursday, October 24th. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. Blackberry Smoke, a live performance that'll rattle your core. 
Coming to the Emerald Queen Casino Event Center, Thursday, November 14th, it's war. The World is a Ghetto 50th Anniversary Tour. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. Hold on. This trip got me Alaska Gold 75K status? Looks like I leveled up somewhere between Seattle and New York. I knew you earned miles faster than other airlines, but like... Okay, this is next level. I wonder if they'll take my photo and put it in every seat back on every airplane. I really hope fame doesn't change me. I'm a real wild one. Life is wild. There's work to be done. Adventure around every corner. And a truck that handles it all. The new 2024 Ford F-150 Wild Edition. It's rugged, loaded with tech, and built to go wild. Get a wild deal on an F-150 today. Lease a 2024 F-150 STX 4x4 for just $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. You love the internet. But do you love your internet? Is your bundle a bundle of joy? Do you celebrate your contract's anniversary? No? You should meet Ziffly Fiber. High-speed fiber optic internet means more freedom, more reliability, more speed on all your family's devices, all at the same time. <sighs> Happily ever faster. Ziffly Fiber. Call one 888 ziply or visit ziplyfiber.com slash gozipply. Plans as low as 10 bucks a month. Checking? Yeah, I got a guy. Oh. Checking doesn't have to hurt. Like free checking with Wafed Bank. Cracking debit card doesn't hurt either. Now that's pain free checking. Let's go! Imagine if the most exciting, unthinkable, iconic NHL moments could be yours. Well, now they can. Because NHL Breakaway lets you collect highlights from your favorite players and teams. Collect a moment, relive a memory, and trade history with these officially licensed digital collectibles. Make history yours with NHL Breakaway. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $50 on the MS250 gas-powered chainsaw. Real steel. Find yours. JT, back with you. Ron Francis was kind enough to join us in the second period. One of the topics, the potential captaincy right. of this team. Your thoughts, boys? Well, I mean, first off, uh, I mean, that's pretty large news, JT. I mean, right? It's been pretty quiet on that front. And again, I, uh, Johnny, please, because you're you're our captain here. Certainly sounded like there's going to be a decision. Right now, whether or not they name it, that probably would only be the question that I have. Right? Is that is that fair with what Ron yes. said about it? Right? Yes. So JT, look, lots of options, right? But the importance of having a captain, I look at. I, I believe in certain situations, yeah, I think you can be without one. But I think that it would certainly help this franchise is that if they can and they decide to go ahead and and, uh, and put a C on somebody's chest. Well, I think it's also just important. From the standpoint, even if you don't get that C, there's so many leaders in this locker room, and I don't think that it's going to stop. Even if someone's not named DC, they're going to continue to lead it's the same way they have been when it's been the rotating A's. You have so many different guys you can lean on. No real wrong choices here. But it appears that the time has come, and they will put a C on a sweater. 
for the first time in franchise history. Icing right off the hop. We'll take it back. Six seconds gone in this third period. Bracken had a 2 0 lead after one. Ryan Winterton played nine games last year, no goals, gets his first as a Kraken, albeit in preseason. And then Tyler Myers has scored for Vancouver. Kraken will be in Edmonton, Alberta tomorrow night. We'll have the game for you here on the Kraken Hockey Network. Schwartz now out to center ice. Swept at. Six Pacific time for the faceoff tomorrow night. Brandon Montour has a goal tonight for the Kraken. Paired on defense with Jamie Oleksiak. This is Jordan Eberle. Drop pass for Schwartz. A double clutch. He'll pull up. Lay it deeper in the zone for Shane Wright. He's separated from the puck by Elias Pedersen. Sherwood. Going to get back from Jake DeBrus. Elias is not playing tonight, is he? No, okay. Elias played the other night. Elias Pedersen. No relation, no. though. No relation. This is Elias Pedersen. Same nickname, though. PD. Out to center. This uh, is icing. Yeah, I had a chance to talk to Dan Bowsma uh, a couple of days ago at practice as he communicates with assistant coach Jess Campbell. We talked specifically JT and Johnny about the defense and he, he wants everybody to be able to play with everybody and you know you mentioned Dunner Dunner Vince Dunn has not uh, had a had a rep so far in games uh, practicing but hasn't played a game yet but the importance of being able to play with everybody and maybe at the end of a period he goes to a different pair so the familiarity we, we talk a lot about the lines up front. But also to the cohesiveness on the back end. It'll be really interesting to see how it all plays out because you I mean you have a pretty good idea. You know who the six are going to be when healthy. And have the ability and the confidence most importantly to know that whoever you go out there with you've played with before. That's intended for Tolvin and out in front from Eberle. I want to correct myself Mark Giordano. Was the captain in year one traded at the trading deadline never made it to the end of the season but did wear the C it comes out to center. Yeah, we talked about that with Ronnie when yeah. we asked him that question so we're. No it's just my miscue that's all just Why, cleaning up myself really I said a C for the first time and. It's all right minus yeah. one Johnny my right. my. Uh, yeah, just, my headset you know, must not be working because well, I didn't hear you say that. So well, I did. All right. I think I did anyway. <laughs> Forbert now will move it along. It is. Well, I told you, Ronnie probably calling you after the game tonight. <laughs> Baines with a shot turned out by Joey Decord going the distance, as is Kevin Lankinen for Vancouver. Archdeep Baines lets it go back to the point. Just don't answer the phone tonight, Johnny. That's oh, I, hey, JT. I have to. JT. Let that one go to voicemail. Yeah, that's it, yeah. No, when I see RF, I oh, always absolutely. answer you better. the phone. You better be. That's it. That's, that doesn't to. matter. That's a great life lesson out there. You have to. If your boss is calling, don't wait three hours. Don't wait seven. No, you, like, no. you better get back on the blower, JT. You know what I mean? I don't care if you're golfing or whatever. Return the call. Just, just return the call. Remember that. Because you're a big golfer, JT, right? Yes, I, I oh, tend to go The home office now. calls, right? At some point, you're calling back. That's that's the reality. Noted. I got it written down right All now. Right. Okay. Face off one back. Sawyer Mino tied up the ex Thunderbird, broken up by Brendan Byro. He's got to be pretty jacked up, huh? Coming oh, back yeah. to see and uh, get an opportunity to play here at CPA. In an NHL game. Talk about news and notes around the National Hockey League. How about the awful news in LA with the uh, injury to Drew Doughty? That's terrible. Boy, man, just uh, watching that. Uh, was that last night, Johnny? I don't right even before remember. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, like just having a, uh, a horrible foot or ankle injury. And well, Johnny, you said it's officially month to month, right? Yeah. So, JT, we know from experience when you hear month to month, it's probably a couple. If you're lucky, yeah, so we, we wish Drew Doughty the best. And it was 17 year pro now, Johnny. I yeah. mean, man, oh man, just been the flat out great. awesome. Yeah, 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 absolutely, and been an unbelievable LA King. So we wish 
even though one of the division rivals for the Kraken, just an awesome player, a great rep representative of the National Hockey League and the LA Kings. We wish him very well moving forward, getting back healthy and seeing number eight out on the ice for the LA Kings. Sammy Blay in his own territory. Nice pass for Pugh Suter. He'll just feather it off the boards, and Brandon Montour will get back, but icing is called. Did not gain center ice. We get a stoppage here. Let's have a look at tonight's Symmetra teammates. Shane Wright getting his feet on the ground as a pro last season. Well, you heard Ronnie talk about him, just the uh, the growth and the strength and the confidence level. And hopefully Shane can continue that and got to feel really comfortable for him in particular, JT, with knowing the staff, obviously, and, you know, and most importantly, Coach Bilesma and being up here in the National Hockey League if he gets that opportunity and certainly looks like he's going to be here, but we'll let things uh, kind of materialize. But it's got to feel awfully good for him, JT, with the familiarity of Coach Bilesma standing behind him. Hey, you see him even whether it's practice or out in the games here and the confidence that he does have. And a lot of that can come with being familiar with the systems and being familiar with your coach as well. And Obviously, they're looking at the little things as well. We saw that play earlier on the goal where he drives the net, takes away the stick. It's little things like that that you continue to see out of his game and seeing him develop. So, again, hoping for the best for him, and hopefully yeah. he can make himself a long NHL career. We've seen on display not only tonight, last year at the end of the year, all the growths that he's made. Yeah, I mean, it's really like Ronnie kind of touched on it. And, and I mean, I... I I guess just from my experience, the, the aspect of the evaluation process obviously is very, I mean, it's very difficult. A, because, you know, the lineups you're playing against, the lineups that are out there, I mean, like, look at, they're not NHL lineups for the most part. Early in camp, first four or five games, whatever it is, you do get to a fuller lineup, but that's where the evaluation is, is when you're playing against guys that are, you know, 18, 19 year old junior kids or guys that are minor leaguers. You know, when a player looks really good, I mean, there is that, you know, grain of salt aspect when you are, you know, at the end of the night evaluating a player and rating them and whatever. So just makes it very, very difficult. As there's a battle in front there, Evans. And that's Sammy Blay, who yep. stands all around the net. He's been right in front of Joey DeCourt. That's offside, and the whistle is blown. But you know what I mean, Johnny? Like, just when you're evaluating a player, it's like, okay, well, how does it project? When you're seeing a full lineup throughout the National Hockey League, right? right? So it's almost like in a National Football League. I mean, you have, I mean, the starters in the preseason, they play what, four or five plays or five, maybe two or three series? Maybe if no that, more than that, right? That, and yeah. then you have other players that come in and play against other second and third stringers. How, how do you evaluate that? It's very difficult. And the management go, wow, he's unbelievable. Well, he might not be unbelievable against the top players in the leagues or you right. know, other, you know, every day. Yeah. NFLers or NHLers, so. And that's what you see yeah, each step of the way. Development camp, the rookie camp, the big camp, and right. then it's against later in camp, which will be, and it will be the situation next week when we get to Calgary and finish out here on Wednesday night against Edmonton. You're down to it. Shane Wright moved all the way across. Emberly now. And as we said at the top tonight, if you're a young player and you're still here now and you're getting a chance to play yep. and, and acquit yourself very well as Leighton Road has and Yanni Newman, good for them. Buck is cleared in. I can't emphasize enough, too. I mean, just talking to some people within the organization, and we talked about it the other night, JT and Johnny, that. You know, a guy like John Hayden has been around the National Hockey League a long time. I mean, the job that he did the other night, I mean, that that did not go unnoticed, right? And I think that's why we got all excited about, you know, obviously the bad hit that Logan Morrison took. But then Johnny Hayden stood up for his teammate in a preseason game. And again, sending the message, being harder to play against, so those type of things. Piper talked about it a little bit earlier. So that's, you know, a guy like Hayden who has had a really strong camp and has done a lot of little things, kill penalties, win face-offs, all those type of things as well. And um, maybe he gets a chance tomorrow. Go ahead, JT. I'll say the coaching staff, they notice those things, but even bigger than players, yeah. right? The, on the bench. Right. Really enjoyed Piper's interview with 
Ellie Tolvanen back in the first intermission. Just asking him specifically, you know, about the development of Shane Wright and then, you know, Chandler Stevenson and winning the faceoffs. And I mean, just like, it is, uh, it is the ultimate team game. And Myers will swing it. The Drake Sev. Myers blocked by Byro. Hugh Suter defended Max Lajoie collapsing on him. Myers will kick it ahead. Baines overskated it for Vancouver. Kudretsev through the middle of the ice, chipped out of play by Pugh Suter. We'll get a stoppage. 12:56. Heads up on the bench there, JT. Everybody okay? Uh, yeah, it's all looking. Everybody's looking all right. You look great. So do the crowd. No souvenir yet yeah, for yeah. JT. Huh? Oh, it's on the bench. Bad. It wasn't in here. Oh, you can catch it. That's an error. <laughs>
between Montour and Sammy Blay. Good on Montour not to take a penalty himself. Don't retaliate in that situation. Smile on the face, but clear interference call there. Well, we saw what happened the other night when Morrison got drilled. I'd be shocked if it isn't addressed at some point before the end of this game. You're playing an arch rival. They've had to, their way with you for the last handful of years. Draw a line in the sand here. Everly now out in front. And York Strand was awaiting that pass. Muckleshoot Casino resort power play. York Strand to the bumper slot for Winterton. He's rubbed out by Myers, who's helped out by Philip Horonic. And it's brought in offside by Riker Evans. Well, we referenced it a little bit earlier, talking about Johnny Hayden. Here's the hit on Morrison. Carlson with the hit. And John Hayden jumped on the ice, and that's not going to happen. And look at, we talked about it the other night. No matter if you win, lose, draw, it doesn't matter. You're letting somebody know and the rest of the National Hockey League that that's not going to be tolerated. Bracken have 120 left on this power play. This is Oliver Bjorkstrand. Off a stick, out of play, off Pew Suter. Break it here with 10.47 left. No, Sammy plays that type of player. I mean, he plays hard, he hits. JT, he hits hard. He's solid. Yeah, I mean, you, you play against him, JT? Yeah, you don't want to uh, be on the receiving end of, of one of his hits. And obviously that one's a little bit, uh, it's close, right? He sees him digging for the puck. If Montour has the puck, it's a different situation, right? Yeah. Sammy Blaze on a tryout. Trying to earn a spot and a contract. Yeah, there's obviously Vancouver's watching him, obviously, but you got scouts here from a lot of teams in the National Hockey League. And I, I look at I, I like the way the guy plays. Um, you know, I didn't like that hit, obviously, but he does give you a di he gives you an element that uh, could make a difference. Along the boards, Helly Tolvanen, who started the scoring tonight, tied up by Danton Heinen with 35 seconds left in the power play. Montour, here it comes, turned out by Lankinen. The rebound is available. Good save there. Stevenson with the screen in front. Right. Tolvanen and now Montour. Ellie Tolvanen will march in. Draw it back for Brandon Montour. They play catch. Shane Wright. They're working around the clock to the Kraken. This is Chandler Stevenson blocked by Heinen. Wright will send it back for Montour. He'll wrist it through traffic off the backside of Schwartz to the half boards for Stevenson. Chipped right on. Great save. Tolvanen looking for his second. Super stop by Lankinen. Heads up play there by Stevenson. That was a shot pass. Tolvanen was coming to the front of the net and Lankinen. Great part of your screen. Tolvanen goes to the front, gets a piece of it, and boy, Lankinen with a tremendous left shoulder save. Heads up play there by Stevenson. 9.28 left to go in this third period. Chandler Stevenson with a well conceived play that almost worked. The Kraken have a three to one lead.
selection tonight. Third round pick in 23. Best of luck to the T-Birds. They open up their season at home tomorrow night. The Kraken will be in Edmonton tomorrow. 6 p.m. Pacific start. Oh. Great save by Lankinen and Yanni Newman. Good play there by Stevens. Beautiful. Riker Evans will send it around. Nino at the point. Negated by Larson. Brock Besser will send it deeper in the zone for Jake DeBrusque. Adam Larson marking him. Nine minutes left in this third period. 3 1 Kraken. Mino at the point. Bad save to court. Good rebound control right to the corner. DeBrusque off Evans. Available. And Byro will get it out. Twenty two shots for Seattle. 19 taken by Vancouver. Is wristed all the way around. And it ends up in the protective netting for a stoppage of play. Face off will come to center ice. Max Sasson, Shane Wright. The Drake Sev will go across for Myers. Archdeep Baines will cross the line, move up on Mahura. Move it along, broken up Everly. Good play right defensively. New center ice now. Lajoie. The six slightly contained by Kevin Lankinen. The Drake Sev will move it. A pinch by Lajoie. It'll rim it around here for Ellie Tolvenin. Knocked down by Max Sasson of Vancouver. Jordan Everly is there too. It's a four man scrum now. And the Canucks will emerge with the puck. Arshdeep Baines will go cross corner. Blay will hunt it down for a moment. 7.47 left. Puck is free. The Kraken jump on it in the person of Shane Wright. Right through the center right zone will shoot in. Out of the corner. Vancouver establishing a breakout here. 50 wins last year for Vancouver. First place in the Pacific. First playoff series win in 11 years. They were ousted in seven in the second round by Edmonton. Now Sherwood peppered a bit by Schwartz. Heinen, Suter, Oleksiak converged on that one. Good help by Stevenson as well. Heinen, Forbert. Off a stick off Bjorkstrand and J Joey Decord will settle it down as tempers flare. Face off will come outside all five players for the Vancouver Canucks below the top of the circle. Alexiak and Sherwood going at it in front of the net. That's what got everybody all excited. And those guys are going to spend some time in a penalty box. Seattle 24, Vancouver 44. Both two minutes for roughing. And referee Trevor Hansen with the call. Faceoffs outside. Will battle out in front. Maybe got a little slash there. Sherwood slash back and a cross check, and that's one of those situations that's over. You give the cross check, you turn around, I'm looking up and I'm seeing Alexiak. I'm like, okay, maybe I will tone it down a little bit. A little bit difference in uh, size there. And well, look, look I, I get upset I, right away, right? Yeah, but I'm gonna show my I'm gonna show my spots here and my stripes. Is when you have a guy like Blay that runs at Brandon Montour. There's a couple of different ways to be able to address it, and the idea is is that you know what? Well, obviously one of your top players and free agent, and look at you're you're looking to take a piece of somebody on their team that 
is in that same uh, tax bracket, right? I mean, that's just – and, and people just – under they just understand. It's just like you're not going to get pushed around. Like, you're, it's not going to happen. Preseason game number three or whatever it is, doesn't matter. And just the understanding of where the line has been drawn. Philip Horonic out through center ice. Your point is very well taken. Out in front, it goes off a stick. It goes high over Joey Decord. Back now, who trades One-timer Horonic, a heavy shot wide. And Kirill Kudrasev will get to it. Because I could guarantee you, if you if somebody took a run at Pedersen or at Besser, guaranteed what would happen after the fact. That that's just. Built That's in. just the reality of it. Right. And we saw, like I said, we saw it the other night with John Hayden. And then when we saw Mark Friedman cross-check Andre Burakovsky to start that whole melee, the second one, you saw what Ben Myers did to Friedman, right? He'd right. give him a shot, right? Same thing. You you give it out, you got to give it right back. That that's That's where you get that respect and... You're just letting everybody know it's not going to happen. It's just not going to be tolerated. We approach the 15-minute mark in this third period. 3-1 Seattle. Jordan Everly broken up. Nate Smith out of the reach of Forbert, who's drawn back by Mahura. You see it in baseball, right, Johnny and JT? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Well, one of your top players gets one in the ribs or gets knocked down or whatever. Well, there's a pretty darn good chance. And if it doesn't, that well, then just think about with it, well. yeah, from within, right? right. Like that's the that's the matter. At the line, oh, good, try. good try there by Ellie. Right, blocked. Chain right out of the corner. Eberle, Tolvanen, what a stop! Kevin Lankinen has robbed Ellie Tolvanen twice in this third period. Beautiful pass, right on the money. 3-1 Seattle. Yeah, like I love seeing kids nowadays loving their dad. Like, Dad, what's that? Like, wanna go play, Dad? Let's go ride bikes, Dad! When I was a kid, I was like, Dad, Dad! Mom, what did you see in that? It's Fight Night, live boxing at Emerald Queen Casino Event Center. Saturday, October 19th. Make it a destination event. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. At Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. Teammates are like oxygen. Beautiful. They can pump you up yeah! or calm you down. Teammates stand proud with you so you can finally exhale. And the best teammates never let you forget to breathe. For more than 60 years, Symmetra Life Insurance Company has helped people breathe a little easier. With retirement, benefits, and life insurance products, Symmetra is your teammate for whatever lies ahead. With Chevy trucks, be ready for adventure. With power you can count on. Capability that doesn't compromise. A hard-working EV with more range than any competitor and the potential to take you anywhere. Well-qualified Northwest buyers get 0% financing plus no monthly payments for 90 days when you finance with GM Financial. See your Northwest Chevy dealer. Case is back. Bring your family to the deep on November 9th. Tickets on sale now starting at just $15. Go to seattlekraken.com slash super skills for more information. John Enzo, JT, along with our great crew back with you here at beautiful Climate Pledge Arena. 428 left. 3-1 Kraken. Preseason game number three. The Kraken halfway through the exhibition schedule looking for their first win. Myers with a shot rubbed out by Danton Heinen. Kraken now with a shoot in from Jamie Oleksiak. Philip Horonic. A wall sealed by Myers. He'll walk it. Stevens with a shot shut down by Lankinen. That was a heck of a keep in by Myers along the boards. They're cracking Myers. He's played well. Ben Myers. 
And the University of Minnesota icing is called here. That's the other school JT refers to, right? Is that, is yeah. that, is that correct, JT? That other place. Oh, no, it's just another one in Minnesota, not the best one. But. JT, I got to tell you, back when I was playing with the uh, U.S. Olympic hockey team back in 84, long time ago, I know, we spent a, spent a couple of days in Duluth, and there was an unbelievable prime rib restaurant there called the Chinese Lantern. It was unbelievable. And you know me, I like a piece of beef. Well done. It was about 48 ounces. I did pretty good. 48 ounces. Oh, yeah. See if it's still around. No, nah, it's not. The, the meat isn't. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Cross check coming. Is that Myers again? Tyler Myers. Yeah. Vancouver 57, Minor Crowley cross checking. It just made me think of Duluth there, JT. That's all. Just made me think of Duluth, so. It's a good city. No. I'm sure we can find, if you're ever back there, I can yeah, find a yeah. good spot for you to okay. get a nice right. little steak. Yeah. I don't know if Scotty's standing a little happy there or not, but. There's the penalty. Muckleshoot Casino Resort oh, Power. I thought you were going to show me a piece of beef there, Johnny. Oh, that's what I was hoping really? for. Scratch and sniff television here on the Crocky, on the Kraken Hockey Network. With the emphasis on the end <laughs> cut. We'll leave it there now. Montour, Tolvanen, heavy shot right off the pipe. Brendan Montour, fumbled by right. Tolvanen gets it. Kraken work it around. Chandler Stevenson up top. Now Montour, broken up by Danton Heinen, through the middle of the ice. Tough pass for Pugh Suter, and Stevenson's back on it. The former Vegas Golden Knight, Stanley Cup with them, Stanley Cup with Washington 2018. Out of the corner. Hronik and swept nice out of the zone by Pedersen. Yeah, really nice play there by Hronik. So under three minutes left. 70 seconds on the power play. 3 1 Seattle. Riker Evans. Along for Ryan Winterton, who has a goal tonight. Adam Larson. Winterton will take it in. Evans this way. Larson walks the line. Evans. Reset by Winterton. Winterton one more time. Everly. Flushed out by Forbert. 2.20 left, 39 seconds on the power play, and goes by Riker Evans. And the Kraken start over. Debras got bikes pressure on Evans. Adam Larson now, 25 seconds left in the Kraken power play. Everly moves up. Laid along, knocked down control, and Sawyer Mino will clear it all the way out with 1.55 left. Decord almost gave it away. What did we say earlier? And did he do it? No, I don't no it's say. a hand pass. Well, Brandon Montour let a laser go. Oh. Earl Scheib on line two, Johnny, after that one there. <laughs> I put a dent right in it. Gonna paint that post. For 99.95 back in the day, day. A company that used to paint cars, JT. Just to uh, Earl Scheib. If I said Earl Scheib, your palms yeah, no up, idea. right? Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Great place. You paint your car, any car, any color. At least when I remember the commercial was 99.95. Yeah. So now it's. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I should say. I think. I don't know if there's maybe somewhere. Rick Tockett pulls his goaltender Kevin Lincoln in for the extra attacker. Not sure if he needs to get his car painted or not. Nice guy. We played with the Blackhawks when I was there. Terrific young guy. Getting an opportunity the last handful of years in the National Hockey League. Some opportunity in Nashville and now here in Van. He'll get a paint job. Yeah. <laughs> we get a new set. Call her Earl. Get a new mask. When you getting your tune up there, Johnny? <laughs> 
142 left. Tyler Myers is out in one second. Alexiak for Larson now. Even terms on the ice. The goaltender out. Six skaters out for Vancouver. 90 seconds left. We'll be in Edmonton tomorrow night. Now the new lineup for the Kraken. We'll see the Oilers for the first time. DeBrusque loses control. Alexiak goes for it just wide. Icing. Puck was on edge for the big rig there and looking for a 198 foot empty netter. Jamie Oleksiak will lay it off the corner wall and hot bounce finds Jaden Schwartz. He'll send it out. 65 seconds left. Chandler Stevenson, Jordan Everly, Jaden Schwartz, Jamie Oleksiak, and Adam Larson on the ice for Seattle. Sherwood throws on the brakes. The Russ got to the corner. He'll wind it up with the extra man out there for Vancouver. The Russ will knock it down, collected by Pedersen for a moment. Stevenson, Schwartz on him. Buck is free, and it's kept in nicely by Philip Horonic. Larson will scoop it ahead. Schwartz, empty net. Wow. No icing. It got there. Got to the red line, so that was large. 25 seconds left. Pedersen. No quarter given at the line by the Kraken. Tolvanen will just miss. Three times. Near misses for the Kraken. With the awning cage. 10 seconds left. Preseason game number three. The cord out to play it. He goes the distance. Two seconds left. That's Kraken hockey, baby. Dan Bilesman preseason with his first win. As the Kraken defeat the Vancouver Canucks, three to one. So they surround Joey DeCord. Ellie Tolvanen got the ball rolling tonight to a man. McCracken get it done. We'll come back and wrap it up for you. Final count, Seattle 3, Vancouver 1, right here on the Kraken Hockey Network. Chevy gets it. I want it. And I can afford it. Can be one and the same. With Chevy Trax, a car and driver 10 best. The rugged Chevy Trailblazer. And Chevy Colorado, Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Chevy, all you want is all within reach. Connected by OnStar. Or qualified lessees can get this Trax LT for around $249 a month. Chevrolet, together let's drive. You love the internet. But do you love your internet? Is your bundle a bundle of joy? Do you celebrate your contract's anniversary? No? You should meet Zippy Fiber. High-speed fiber optic internet means more freedom, more reliability, more speed on all your family's devices, all at the same time. <sighs> Happily ever faster. Zippy Fiber. Call one eight 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 Go Zippy or visit zippyfiber.com slash go zippy. Plans as low as ten bucks a month. Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest, and by Symmetra Life Insurance Company, official life insurance partner of the Seattle Kraken, and your teammate for whatever lies ahead. John Forsland, Eddie Olchek, JT Brown back with you. Here at Climate Pledge Arena, Joey Decord, 
One of the three stars tonight. It's time to eat the fish. And this was a total team effort, but good to see the young players get an opportunity. And Ryan made Winterton. Some, made some good impressions, without a doubt. Some chemistry there before Winterton and Road, and good to get that first win of the preseason, Johnny. Ryan is the first star tonight. Congratulations to him. And he takes a seat right next to our very own Piper Shaw. Number one star tonight, Ryan Winterton. Well, Ryan, a two-point game for you tonight. You cashed in on your own rebound, but you also put in time on both special teams units. How much pride do you take in being an asset to both the penalty kill and the power play? Yeah, I think uh, you know that's a big part of my game. Um, playing 200 feet, and uh, you know tonight was lucky enough to you know get my first and uh, an assist to go with it. And how about the absolute wheels on your line mate, Leighton Road? How much fun is it to play with a player who's got speed like that to their game? Yeah, he made it easy for me. I just kind of put my head down, drove the net, and uh, he fed me. And yeah, it was a great play by him. This really was a true team effort as well. Coaches talked about the importance of bringing that compete level consistently. How would you evaluate the team's overall compete in this one? Yeah, I thought it was great. Uh, you know, lost our first two preseason games. So uh, getting on the board with one was huge. And uh, we're in a 